and cheerleading dance-off movies, right? Oh, yeah, typecast me like the rest of them. I've got range. Look at those lunatics. Can you imagine what it's like being this famous? Uh, looks like we lost them. Oh, thank God. Now, would you be a total sweetheart and give me a ride back to the hills? What a day. So what am I, your driver now? Oh, pretty please, I can't walk home. Most men would kill for this opportunity. Oh, nah, shit, it's cool, don't trip. But them motherfuckers back there was ready to tear the meat off your ass if you had any back there, that is. Oh, please, I'm such a fat little piggy right now. Ugh, too many french fries. I mean, I 
mostly just suck on them and spit them into a bucket, but that's still probably like a hundred calories. The media love their little Macy Jonas jokes. All that, she's a skeleton, give that girl a sandwich, lameness. Whatever, I bet they're all total hippos. When I get home, I'm like totally gonna suck all my personal trainers. Ugh, what I give to have a normal life for one day. For real? No way, are you kidding me? Doing laundry and shampooing my own hair? Ugh, horrendous. No, thank you. I mean, do you have any idea how much money I spent on losing my regional accent? I had to cut all ties with my family. Not because I didn't love them, because the thought of their lame lives was bringing me down spiritually. You know what I mean? You would really not believe how difficult it is being a celebrity sometimes. <laughs> yeah, sounds like you had it real tough. I think the problem is sometimes they love me too much. My publicist told me if you put all my fans together, they'd fill the country of Africa, wherever that is. I had this obsessed fan last year who kept sending me photos of his junk. Then when I didn't reply, sent me his actual junk in a box, all dried up. It looked like a spring roll. I mean, seriously, how insane is that? And did you know my gynecologist autobiography was the top selling fiction and nonfiction book of 2010? Totally insane, right? Right, totally. It sucks. They're always comparing me to Poppy Mitchell when she's such a diva. I'm way more into making a difference than she is. If I wasn't in entertainment, I'd totally be a doctor or a lawyer. It's so important to me to stay grounded and connect with real people, you know? It's the only way you truly grow as an artist. Literally, nobody tests higher than me on relatability. I mean, you can tell I'm so girl next door, right? Are you listening to me? Yeah, 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 every word. Can I get a cab right away? No problem. I'll have one there in a couple of minutes. Sounds good. Somebody steals it, and then the man's like, who in God's name ordered a chai latte? Oh shit, he sounds like a cool dude. I mean, he used to be a little oh, bit nasty, but then I came around and he dropped freeway. Man, I never really knew my dad. He's kind of okay, distant, no though. I mean, he travels a lot. It's kind of crazy, but I still love him. Even though all my friends say I shouldn't because of what he did to me. All right, man, look, I got to get back to normality. Yo, it's cool, homie. Cool. Select the alternative. 